Continue to stay determined, always rise to the occasion, and persevere in times of weakness. Hey guys, it's Claire Neferson, back at it again, with the back at it again, and today I just want to say to everyone, happy Pride Month, today is like the 3rd of June or whatever, and yeah, I was in Target and I'm like, let me get this, this is cute, like this is um, the color of the rainbow and like glitter all over it, if you guys can see. And this was only $5 from Target. They have like their own little LGBT Pride Month little section. It's so cute. So anyway, those are two for five and that's what I got. I just wanted to basically do a video for my LGBTQ. But all the LGBTQ movies and shows that I love, like my favorite. I was gonna do a top 10, but I think it's a little bit more than 10. But I'm just gonna rush through them. I don't wanna make this video too long. So I'm just gonna like say the titles of the shows and the movies and just simply just, you know, give you a little rough draft on them or whatever. So we we'll start with movies. My first favorite movie is But I'm a Cheerleader. So you guys gotta know what this movie is. Like, and if you don't, go check it out, go look it up. You kind of have to pay for it because I looked online. Well, I looked on demand and it's saying like rent and buy. So you probably got to pay a few dollars for it, but it's worth it. It's a good movie. RuPaul is in it. You can see if you can find it for, um, free on YouTube because they have like almost all the movies on YouTube. I don't watch so many movies on YouTube. I be watching The Proud Family on YouTube lately. Like everything's on YouTube now. It's crazy. Like, and it's free. Like, it was basically about this, um, this white girl. She goes to like this camp that her mom and dad sent her to because she was gay and they found out she was gay and they wanted to try to get that thing or whatever it was they claim out of her and they wanted her to revert back to being straight, whatever. So they thought that this camp was going to help her, but it didn't. It made her fall in love with this girl and got yada, yada. But you guys should watch it. So it's called, But I'm a Cheerleader. So all the movies that I'm talking about, guys, I'm going to make sure I leave them below in order. Like, not the movies, but the title. And if I can find the movies, I'll leave the link, too. So the second movie is called Pariah. That's P-A-R-I-A-H. And I believe the meaning is, like, you don't fit in or you're, like, a, you, you just, you're, like, a black sheet. I, I forgot what the meaning is. But anyway, it's called Pariah. It's on Netflix. It's free if you have Netflix. So Netflix, it's freaking amazing. Like, it's about this black girl. So she's from, like, um, the Bronx, and she has this friend who's gay and out and happy and whatever, and she's also gay, but she's, you know, she hasn't come out to her family yet. And her mother is, like, um, one of the Wayne brothers' sisters. I forgot her name. Kim Wayne's, I think. I don't know. So her mother is, you know, plays this, like, Christian lady who don't really accept that or whatever so it's like a big thing but anyway it's a great ass movie i love that movie so much it's my favorite third movie is boys don't cry now this movie is very emotional like it is i don't know every time i see this movie i cry like hillary swank is in it if you guys know who that is if you guys seen it already but she's in it she plays this transgender um She's a woman, but she's, you know, she's in hiding and she hasn't told anyone yet that she was trans and they found out and raped her and killed her. It's just a big thing. But that's my favorite goddamn movie, Boys Don't Cry. When I first seen it, it was like when I was real young and I'm like, what the hell is going on here? But I love that movie. Um, well, it's like a, it was like a show, but then they made it into like a movie, I think. Noah's Ark. Yeah, I'm about to eat a piece of cheese, y'all. Mm-hmm. 
and I can't really remember exactly what was going down in a movie in a in a movie, but basically it was this guy who had different boyfriends who used to cheat on him and he had a whole bunch of friends some of them was hoes some of them was like single couldn't find nobody like it was just a good ass drama ass show they used to show it on hbo um i don't know if they still do a showtime one of them and it was real good it was real good i'm not gonna front i'm not gonna front um if you guys know what i mean or know what i'm talking about just you know leave in the comment section yeah, I know always Noah's Ark, blah blah blah. I just love me. Like I don't know about anybody else. But I just love me some LGBT movies on YouTube. Like for free. Oh, some of them is not for free. I don't mind paying. But some of them most of them are free. Like most of the ones I've seen are freaking free. The first one is called If I Was Your Girlfriend. That's how I finally like that's how I found out about Temper. Like, when I seen Tip, I'm like, she looks so good. Like, it's ridiculous. Like, she was just so sexy. And, yeah, it's a good movie. It's about, like, abuse, um, sex, uh, abuse, sex, lies, deceit, all that stuff. Like, in that movie, it's just bomb as hell. Again, if I was your girlfriend, type that the hell in. Um... It's a bomb ass movie. It's like an hour and 24 minutes or whatever. It's a good ass movie. I'm not even going to front. Second movie I love on YouTube is called Ladies Lust Love. It's a movie exactly what the title is Ladies Lust Love. So it's about lesbians um, lusting and loving, basically. Go watch it. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm going to leave all the links down below. If I don't do it right away, I'ma get to it. All right. Um, third movie. I'm sure it's more, but I can't really think of them right now. But if I do happen to think of it after the fact, then I'll leave it in the description box. But the last movie that I can remember right now, for right now that I love on YouTube is The Lies We Tell But Secrets We Keep. Now I seen this movie like maybe. Or maybe 2015. I don't know. I think I seen it like three years ago, y'all. But I seen it on YouTube. Um, I was watching it. And it was just really, real good. Like, it's a good-ass movie. I just found out like 20 minutes ago that they have a part two that came out this year. And I didn't even know that. Like, are you serious right now? But, um, yeah. It's a good movie about like this girl who had a, like a rough life. She was kind of young. Had a rough life. Ended up freaking getting with this guy who was like a freaking drug dealer slash pimp slash I don't freaking know what and he was respected in the streets he was like a you know a drug lord I don't know what the hell he was and she ended up meeting this girl who had a girlfriend but the, she was lying to her girlfriend I don't know it was just a whole bunch of lies and all that shit and um the girl she never been with a girl before and she was hiding it from her boyfriend and her boyfriend ended up killing her girlfriend it's just a big thing, but now they have a part two that I'm looking at right now. I'm about to watch it when I finish this video. And it looks pretty good. Like, I might have to, I'm, I think I'm tuning in. Like, I just love me some LGBT movies, especially on YouTube. Like, they be clear and everything. They be a little bit low budget, low quality. But they be, listen, I'm not bougie. Like, I, I love me some good movies. Like, it don't matter about no high quality. They're not boring. I'm with it. So now let's move on to shows. <laughs> okay guys so moving on to shows um my favorite show okay lgbt show is rupaul's drag race of course like some people just now getting put on to rupaul's drag race because it's on vh1 but i've been watching rupaul's drag race since season one since it's been on the l since it's been on the logo network this is my favorite show because it's like I like I love drag queens. Like I feel like in my before life, like I was a drag queen. Like I just love drag queens. You know what I'm saying? Like they're funny, they're bomb as hell, their makeup be popping. Like who doesn't love a drag queen? I love drag queens. So and I love RuPaul. Like I always love RuPaul. First time I seen him was 
on Sister Sister, I think. I'm sure everybody's seen them on Sister Sister. If you guys don't know, then it's um, RuPaul is like a well-known drag queen, and he has like a lot of money and shows and songs, and he just like really branched out and did his thing and made a big name for himself. He's um, he has a statue in Madame Toussaint. He's just popping. Like if you don't know who he is, like you're living under a rock, like that ass. Okay. So my second favorite show that they don't show anymore, it's called The L Word. It's like a, they have The L Word like scripted series and then they have like The L Word reality show. And I like The L Word reality show because it was like a love of hip hop. It was like a basketball wives type thing, but for lesbians. Like it was, it, it was just so bomb. Like I liked it and I don't think it was scripted because a lot of these shows are scripted, like Love and Hip Hop, all these people. But I feel like the L word was not scripted. Like it was some real things going on. And I'm a lesbian, so I, I be knowing. I be knowing when shit is real, when shit is fake, away. The L word is just good. It's, it's like a whole bunch of couples, or sometimes single people, whatever, just going through everyday life, like cheating, lies, happiness, success, all that other stuff. Like it's just a good ass show that they don't show anymore. Like I said, but. You could probably try to find some of the episodes, you know, and I wrote them. I guess I did. Yes, I did. I wrote the L word. And I was like, excuse me, like, when y'all coming out with new season, like, with a new season? Like, it's been mad years. They was like, we're not. Sorry. I'm like, damn. Like, can somebody come up with the L word, with another show like the L word? And can I star in it? Like, because I'm, I'm, I want to star in it. Like, I think, um, one of the couples from the L Word was on like a uh, marriage boot camp or something like that. The uh, next show that I like, I used to like, but I'm gonna give the next season a chance. It's Orange the New Black or whatever. I'm gonna give it a chance because it's like, I like Orange is the New Black, but after I seen the next show I'm about to tell y'all about, it's like, yo, Orange is the New Black, you have nothing on the show. Like that ass. You have nothing on the show. Like, like I like Orange the New Black, I give it like a seven. But it's a good show. Everybody knows what who where what <laughs> what who what when where Orange the Black is. Like if you don't know, come on. Like everybody know what it is. This lady, she gets put in jail um, for uh, what were they doing? Like laundering drugs and getting into drugs and, and illegal shit or whatever scamming. She ends up getting. Write it out by her girlfriend. It's just a big ass thing. But I just love, I, I used to love Orange is the New Black. I still like it. I'm gonna give, the new season is coming out on Netflix June 9th, I believe. So you guys tune into that, or whatever. Um, but the next show that took over Orange is the New Black is called Wentworth. They're also on um, Netflix. And I just started watching them like a few months ago. And I finished like freaking, I think they had like, they had like freaking five seasons and I watched all of them in like a month. It was just so amazing, like so amazing. It got me through work because I used to watch it on my break. It was just so bomb and like intense. Like it makes you want more, want more. So much drama, so much lies, so much deceit, so much killing, so much fucking everything in there. Like that shit is like a real gel. Like it's just bomb. It's just like Orange is the New Black, but it's so much better. And I think it's in Australia or, um, you know, they have like that nice, wonderful accent I, I don't know if it's Britain I don't know what it is but it's that nice British freaking UK accent oh my god oh my god but if you guys watch it let me know who your favorite character is mine's is B and the girl she fell in love with and finally had sex with and the girl died and then she killed herself well she thought the girl died and then she killed herself it's just a crazy thing but anyway next show that Lil is of course, YouTube shows. Like, not only do I like YouTube movies, but I love all LGBT YouTube shows, okay? Like, all these web series, you can't tell me nothing. Like, I be tuning in, I, notification game. You know what I'm saying? Oh, wait, Ava. The first show I ever started watching on YouTube was Between Women. Like, the first show show, like, Between Women. Everybody knows who they are, they're based in ATL. I watched all their shows. Whenever they was like charging for a show, I always bought like all the shows because I just loved them. 
like you know but like the last I remember the last season they started to charge like $1.99 or a dollar and I'm like that's nothing like I'll buy it like because I just love supporting them and um now they have like a new season out or whatever I think it started already yeah, it started already but I'm not really into it like I saw the trailer and I'm not really into like they just changed their whole setup their whole scene like it's not you know it don't it doesn't look intriguing at all but I probably will give it a chance but it doesn't really look intriguing but I'm a I'm, I probably watched like one episode and see but um after watching the trailer I didn't really like it like I don't know um, I feel like it should spice things just just up a little bit more like what's this detective work going on like I don't get it um these fucking motorcycles like I said, Between My Men was my show. Now, I don't know what's going on, but I'm going to give it a chance. Um, you guys let me know if you watch it and what's going on. Like, you know, I wish they could bring back Sunny because I love Sunny. My favorite character, I think, is um Ray. Yeah, I think Ray. She's just so fucking sexy. Oh, my God. Ray, and then I like, um, I like Miller's cousin. I forgot her damn name. Is this Summer? I forgot her goddamn name. Sorry. And I love NYG TV. That's New York Girls TV. They're based in New York, of course. I'm from New York, guys. Hey. Um, they're based in New York. And um, it's just, like I said, it's about a whole bunch of real shit. Like, freaking lesbians hating on lesbians. Love, lies, cheating, happiness, success, all that. Like, it's like, I can relate to a lot of these shows. It's like an urban show. It's just popping, just lit, you know. Based in Brooklyn, New York, Bronx, whatever, Queens, all that. It's just bomb as fuck or whatever. Like I said, it's called NYG TV. So you could type in New York Girls TV, the whole words, or you could type in the abbreviation NYG TV is gonna come up. It's like I think they're they're still working on like no actually they're done filming the last well the current season, but they're it's not gonna come out till like another month, I think. I forgot the exact date. And it's just a popping ass show. Like I said, I love it. It's like my favorite. Um, next show is Let's Be Real. Um, they came out like September of last year. And I just freaking love them. Like, it's a good ass show. It's about the same shit. You know, they have more so like more transgender um, situations in the, in the show. And I think that's brilliant because it's like, we need to see that, like, you know? I just like it. I just really, really love Let's Be Real. They got some sexy ass girls in it. And it's based in PA, Pennsylvania, I think. Yeah, I think it's based in PA. And it's just dope, I like it. Like, they recently like changed a few of their cast members and I'm like, what the hell? But it's like, I love the show. Like, I don't give a fuck. It's, it's bomb as fuck. I like it. They just can't, like, I be on it. Like, when they put out that episode, they put out an episode every other Tuesday. I be on it. Like, hey, like, next, like, let's do this. Next show is called District Heat. That's based in District of Columbia, D.C., whatever. Um, That's a good-ass show, too. It's just, like, they're all, like, the same, but have different storylines. Like, it's just bomb. Like I said, um, I don't know when they're coming out with their next season. But District Heat, I just love that show. It's dope. I, oh, and then I like Woe TV. Woe TV is based in Atlanta. And I started watching them like last year. And it's just bomb as fuck. But they only had like one season, I think. And then like, I don't know when they're going to put out the next season. Um, if you guys are familiar with these shows, let me know. I also love lesbian couples. Like, with their channels. I just love watching other lesbian couples. Like, it's just... You know, relaxing and funny and just watching them do funny shit and fun shit and just, well, just real life and shit, you know. So my favorite um, couples to watch, I have a few. The first one, of course, is The Litney Show. I love them. Um, they used to go by Whitney and Lydia. Now they go by The Litney Show, and I think it's so cute. That's The L-Y-T-N-E-Y Show. Those are my booze or whatever. Y'all yeah, seen them in my little Miami video or whatever. Those are my booze. I love them. And um, I love watching them. So you guys check them out too. Second couple, of course, is The Gorgeous and Lovely. Dear JTV. 
They're also a lesbian couple. Freaking wonderful. They was also in my YouTube videos. Um, when I went to Sweet Heat Miami a few weeks ago. You guys check them out. DJ TV. They do challenges. Both channels that I just mentioned, they do challenges, um, vlogs, things like that. Just fun things. And it's just dope to watch. Um, another couple I like watching, Lily and Grams. You guys know who they are. You know, I like watching Lily and Grams. They do challenges, vlogs, things like that. And I'm sure it's like another couple I used to watch too, or I like to watch. Can't really remember right now. But that is the end of my list of the my favorite LGBT movies, favorite LGBT shows, favorite YouTube LGBT shows, and all of that. Like I just like watching real shit, nothing fake, nothing whatever. They be, they be showing that un, uncut raw shit <laughs> on, on YouTube. Like, so y'all get into it, get into it. Yeah, I just hope you guys have like a wonderful Pride Month. Um, I am gonna go to Pride this year, the parade. I am gonna go, so if you guys are going, maybe we can link up or whatever. So, to the one in New York, of course. Um, and yeah, like, I just hope like this month is safer than last year, you know. I just hope like, we're just, we can just have a peaceful ass month, you know what I'm saying? I just hope we can have a peaceful ass month, because like, we deserve it, you know. Everyone deserves to have a peaceful month, but. I just feel like I want to have a peaceful mind. I don't want to hear about any other disasters and freaking terrorist things like last year. I just want it to be just a wonderful time. You know, when, we, when I go to the parade, I want it to be nice and safe. Like, I don't want nothing crazy going down. Like, I just want to have a good pride month. Like, this is our month. And we all need to shine. So, if there are some beautiful, you know, lesbian gay um bi transgender youtubers that want to collab with me or anything let me know and i'm open to it like you know what i'm saying like let's let's get it done like you know what i'm saying like let's get shit done this month or whatever like this is our month you know what i'm saying yeah if you guys want to see a tutorial on this makeup look i will leave the link below or somewhere up here so yeah guys happy pride month like i said Okay, and I love you guys. Please comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and show your girl some love. Keep rocking with your girl. You know what I'm saying? Like, that ass. Like, you know, I love you all. Glam Nancy signing out. Mm -hmm.